Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L Mobile Hygiene. So are your teeth always sensitive? And by sensitive, I don't mean in pain necessarily, but I mean sensitive. So if you're eating something, drinking something, if they're sensitive while you have your teeth cleaned, if you're, um, um, if you're brushing, just if they're sensitive all the time. And if we say to you, well, how are the teeth sensitive? And you don't really know how to answer that. And, and you just simply say, well, they're sensitive all the time. There are probably reasons for that. Meaning if we know what's causing that sensitivity, we can help you and prevent that um, sensitivity from happening and cure why it's happening now. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here and I'm gonna show you guys a couple pictures on my iPad. So, and this will be an eye opener for a lot of you. So if your teeth look like this, let me find the picture. If your teeth look like this, so you might look at that and say, what am I looking at? I don't know what you're talking about. So let me just kind of adjust things here. And I'm going to point to, with it um, with my pen here. So notice how this tooth looks nice. Um, the gum is covering up everything, right? But look at this one. See how this area is exposed? And it's kind of like, oh, sorry, guys. It's so easy with this iPad to change the pictures when I don't want to. Okay, where'd that picture go, guys? Okay, here it is. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to show that to you up close first so you guys can see. But then notice how there's a light yellow, almost brown area up here. So that is actually the second layer of your tooth called the dentin showing through, and that should always be covered. But what if you're looking inside your mouth right now and saying, oh, I, I have that here, I have, oh my gosh, I have a lot of those areas. That explains why I'm sensitive, right? So the gums are shrinking away from the teeth. So you might have heard us tell you guys that before at the dental office, but we might not have really done more about it. But there are so many things we can do and we need to take the time to really kind of figure out, well, are you still doing something to cause that? Or has this been here for 10 years, but hasn't gotten any worse? So that's why I like to take pictures. So every time I see a patient for the first time, so I don't take X, um, I don't take x-rays, but I take pictures inside the mouth with a little camera. So kind of like this, where I can kind of see where those areas are, and then I can monitor things to see if it's getting worse because the thing about this is you can cover that up by having surgery meaning taking some of the gum tissue from the roof of the mouth and putting it over there it does work but nobody really wants that surgery right so there are things we can do to prevent that from getting worse and more importantly not cause sensitivity so if your teeth look like that that's probably why you are sensitive all the time but there are things we can do for that so and I, I mentioned actually the same two products in the video that I did previously um, talking about why your teeth are sensitive to a teeth cleaning but I talked about you having a lot of plaque tartar stain this is something different where the gums look like that I don't see any plaque, I don't see any tartar, and I don't see any stain. But if your gums look like that, you will be sensitive. So I will be giving you a different toothpaste to use because this toothpaste actually helps to cover up those exposed surfaces and sort of remineralize those, those areas so that it's covering everything up so it doesn't become sensitive. Because what happens is, if it's exposed, everything's hitting it. Like every time you, you eat something, touch something, drink something, when the saliva is over there, it will be sensitive. This forms a thin layer over the teeth over time so that nothing can penetrate to cause the sensitivity. Toothpaste don't work right away. It, it takes a couple weeks to a couple months, but, but if you use this every day, two or three times a day, that sensitivity will not come back. So it's amazing, amazing stuff. So not all toothpaste fits all. If you're using Crest, Colgate, good for you, but you might need something else. And I mentioned something else that I like to apply in office, meaning this comes in a little tube where it's a liquid, where I apply a drop per you know, area, so check that out, you guys. So if I'm going back to that picture that I've shown you guys before, 
I would apply a drop per area on a cotton palette and I would hold it right here and like rub it in, takes about 30 to 60 seconds. Let it air dry, meaning I take um, the cotton pellet off, let it air dry for about 60 seconds, done. So I would do that on every surface where I can see that sec um, the second layer of the tooth coming through. It might take two minutes, depending on how many of those areas you have, but that also helps to speed up that protective layer um, forming over overall, which is amazing, right? So you would use this toothpaste at home and, uh, and, and I would do my hard work to use those, um, those drops at your appointment. This stuff is so amazing that I've had patients said to me, oh my God, can I take that home with me so, so that I can use it every day? It does last three to six months depending on your eating habits. So if you're having a pop every single day, that protective layer will wear down eventually. It might take three months, not six months, but this stuff is amazing. So if you're sensitive, oh, sorry, I'm just showing you, you guys lots of other things there. But if your teeth are sensitive all the time, there are things we can do. So talk to your dental hygienist, have them really look inside your mouth, take pictures so that we can monitor things and just, and just help you be less sensitive because I like to treat the problem. Okay. So I like to treat the problem, but then also prevent it from, from happening because I don't want you coming back in six months saying, Oh yeah, remember how I said that I was really, really sensitive up here. Well, now it's actually down here too. Whereas when I saw them last time, things looked fine down here. But then if I look down here, down here now, I might go, oh my goodness, now the teeth are looking like this on the bottom too, where you didn't have that last time. So what causes this? It could be from brushing too hard. That's usually the cause of it, is brushing too hard or using a medium or hard toothbrush. Always use a nice soft toothbrush and don't brush too hard. And that's another thing that your dental hygienist can help you with to really monitor how you're brushing because we all probably brush a little too hard because we, we, we want to get in there, right? And clean everything off. But too hard is too hard and it could cause more damage causing sensitivity. So thank you guys for listening. Let me know if you have any questions about that because I am very, very happy to help. Sometimes it could be as simple as using a different toothpaste to truly change your life because if your teeth are sensitive all the time, you're probably a very grouchy person because you would be sensitive, right? All the time. So there are things we can do. I will talk to you guys in the next one.